Hello students, uh, this is Dinsen Sayya. Today I'm here with a new poem. The name of the poem is No Man of Foreign and it is written by James Krikrop. Hello students, today we are going to start the new poem. The name of the poem is No Man of Foreign and it is written by James Krikrop. Actually, this poem No Man of Foreign is a very beautiful poem. So it is related with concept of universal brotherhood now the title no man of foreign means that no man belongs to another country the poet wants to say that all men are same all men are equal he wants to promote the concept of universal brotherhood in the poem the poet in the poem the poet wants to tell us that everyone in this world is same and all people all men are same now if we have to talk about the literary device of this poem the entire poem is written in free verse as such there is no any uh, rhyming scheme in the poem now stanza one remember no men are strange no country is foreign beneath all uniforms a single body breeds like ours the land our brothers walk upon is odd like this in which we shall lie now in this stanza the poet says that no man are strange and no country is foreign so he is attempting to remove the borders from the art which have been erected to separate different countries so far then only no country will be foreign we will feel every country as our own land when there will be no borders everyone will be free to move around again the poet wants to say that enter art is one and all people who live on this earth belong uh, belong to one human race then he says that inside the uniform worn by soldiers of different countries the human being is the same god has made all of us in a similar way and he also says that all breeds in the same way then he says that all the soldiers are our brothers and we all walk upon the same mother earth now in second stanza the poet he writes the two aware of sun and air and water are fed by peaceful harvest by wars long winters stopped their hands are ours and in their lines we read a labor not different from our own now in this stanza they refers to those people who belongs to other countries we call them foreigners and discriminate them and fight with them also actually the poet says that nature has given all the qualities to the people also just like he has given to us everyone gets sunlight air water in equal measure which means that, that god does not dis, uh, differentiate between people from different countries we all do farming during the time of peace when there is no war we live in relaxed life and eat the things given to us by nature further he adds that the way we stop during wars and winter times in the same of the those belonging to other countries even they they don't get a food at a time so he wants to say that foreigners who belongs to another country we both are same now in next stanza the poet he writes remember they have eyes like ours that wake or sleep and strength that can be worn by love in every land is common life that all can recognize and understand now in this stanza the poet asks the reader to remember something he says that we should keep in mind that people of another country whom we think to be our enemies have the similar appearance like us God has given them eyes like ours, which open when awake, and close when we are asleep. Similarly, 
he has given them strength which we can win through by love. Then he says that in every country, in every land, there is one common thing that is life. Life means all the things that are living. And if we can recognize them and if we can understand their feelings and realize that they are like us, then there will be no fights or wars between us. Now in next stanza, the poet he writes, Let us remember whenever we are told to hate our brothers, it is ourselves that we shall dispose, betray, condemn, Remember, we who take arms against each other. The, in this stanza, the poet says that we should remember that whenever someone tell, tells us to hate a person from another country, to think him as our enemy, and whenever we think someone to be our enemy, then we deprive ourselves. We cheat ourselves and we condemn ourselves. He says that we should stay away from such negativity. We should not consider every, anyone to be our enemy during a war. Both the parties must bear the loss. And that is why the poet says that a war is not in our favor. He says that whenever we pick any weapons against someone, we should remember one thing that we all are same and we all are brothers in another stanza the poet he writes it is the human art that we defile our hells of fires and thus outrage the innocence of the air that is everywhere our own remember no men are foreign and no country's strange so in this stanza the poet and directly or indirectly, he wants to say that we should keep in mind that whenever we uh, pick our weapons against any person, we make the earth dirty because our weapons kill person or people and their bodies which fall on the earth make it dirty. Whenever a war happens, it leads to a lot of bloodshed, fire and death. These dead bodies accumulates on the earth and it makes it impure. The fire of war which erupts and the smoke which comes out, the dust which fills the air, it is so dirty that it pollutes and outrages the purity of air. In all these things, the poet wants to give us a message that we should not indulge in war. Finally, he ends the poem by writing the first line in the reverse saying, and saying that, remember, no man are foreign and no country strange.